So I finally received my batteries for my EV conversion for my GS500. Um, these batteries are the LG Chem N2.13.6 volt 120 amp cell modules. I know that was a lot, um, but I'm going to be doing the unboxing video for you guys so that you could see what's inside the box here. These are the batteries that I'll be using for my motorcycle. Um, I bought 12 modules as well as 12 modules for myself and 9 for a friend of mine whose name is Jordan. He's also doing the same battery or, or the same motorcycle project as I am. And all these packages are essentially the same, uh, but I'm going to do a couple opening, uh, video openings for you guys so that you can see what's inside the box. Um, so they packaged it quite well to make sure that the cells are safe. Wow, this is extremely nice. So in this, in this module right here, there are two battery cells, uh, one on this side and the other on the back side of it. As you know if you could see that, there's one pack here and another pack right in there. I don't know if you guys could see that. But yes, so each of these cells are 3.6 volts. So these, currently right now, these battery cells are hooked up in parallel but I will have to take all of them apart so that I could uh, change these battery cells to um, to series because I'm gonna have a 6 amp hour 96 volt setup so I'm gonna have to take these apart and make sure that they're configured in series but not in parallel so this is kind of what it looks like. Um, very nice. Each module is 13.6, I'm sorry, 13.375 inches in length. And then in width here, it's 4.25 inches as well. And then the, uh, the height from bottom to top, this thickness right here is uh, an inch and a half. So those are some of the dimensions. Um, and then with this whole module, it weighs about four pounds and five ounces. So it'll, it'll start to get heavy, but I'm not sure what the entire weight will be once I'm done with it, because I'll be installing this into uh, a battery box. The max continuous discharge current for this will be 130 amps at 3C. Um, and at full charge, it'll be at 4.2 volt. It'll be at 4.2 volts. So let me, uh, that was just one cell there. Uh, that was actually the least amount in one box. So I'm gonna put that aside. And I'll open one more box for you guys. Maybe even all of them if you guys really want to see. But essentially they're all the same thing. They're all the same cells. Um, my friend Jordan is actually configuring his motorcycle at a 72 volt setup. Um, and I'll be configuring mine to a 96. If you guys want me to make a video on his electrical motorcycle setup, please leave, uh, leave a comment below uh, because he actually is not setting up his motorcycle as a hub motor. He's using a, I believe it's called a uh, center drive or mid drive motor uh, motorcycle setup. So he, his, his uh, electrical motor is not built into the wheel. It's built into the frame. So here's one module. Here's one, and then, oh wow, they really packed these up, they crammed these up, um, if you could tell, 
there is, so they place this one on top, and then one, two, three, four are sitting nicely. Packaged very nicely. Let's see if I can take one of them out. Oh, goodness gracious. So, like I said, they're all the same thing. Um, I did also buy captain's tape, which does not include, uh, that does not come into these packages. I actually bought, uh, so I could wrap them up and make sure that the battery cells are protected. I bought two rolls just in case. Um, I believe these are two inches wide. Um, and... Uh, I bought two of them for around $20 on Amazon, so it, it, it's going to work out nicely. Um, I'll, I'll make a whole other video on how I'm going to configure this and how I'm going to wire this in my battery box. So that's pretty much the quick unboxing video for the LG Chem batteries. That at the current With the current setup, it's actually set at 120 amps because these are set as parallel, like I mentioned before. I'm actually going to swap the cells to convert them or to change them into series. So if you guys have any other questions, please let me know. I'm going to do a step-to-step -step video on everything I do with this electrical conversion on my motorcycle. So I hope this helps. And if you want, if you have any questions like I mentioned before, please leave a comment below and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.